the sound of celebratory fire. It may not be total victory, but it tastes like victory. They've won almost everything they wanted here at the cost of 49, 50 lives on Thursday. They gained only two blocks, but it was enough to terrorize Yanukovych and his regime into fleeing. And I think they're gone. They have left the country. He was impeached. Half of his party and communists split off and went over to the opposition. And they voted 328 to zero to impeach him. They've gotten rid of the the interior ministry, a new interior minister, the head of the, the parliament now, the Rada, is Batshkivshina, second in command after Yatsenyuk. Timoshenko just gave a speech here, weak, tired, only 15 minutes. I've never seen the woman not speak for an hour. Uh, two and a half years in prison under the regime. They were keeping her special political prisoner. It was equivalent to six or seven years. She paid the price for calling Yanukovych a thief every day. Now, many people don't like her here. Yannick, uh, Yatsenyuk would be happy if she disappeared because they didn't want the competition. They could have had her released a month, two months ago, but they didn't really ask for that. Anyway, it's an incredibly time here. I never thought this would, would succeed. It could have gone the other way easily. Could have been a thousand dead, two thousand dead, Tiananmen Square in the middle of Europe. But they won. They've won. Ukrainians are different than any place in the world. No place on planet Earth have people suffered as much as here. Killed by the millions for 35 years by the Soviets, the Bolsheviks, the the famines, the deliberate famines, the forced famines, by the Nazis by again the Soviets, by the purges, by the millions, 10, 10, who knows, 15 million people killed here. And when they are injured or attacked, they bond together as one people in a way nobody else does. And they will take amazing abuse, incredible abuse from employers, from uh, landlords, they'll be cheated by business partners, they'll be treated like animals and they will accept that abuse, but when they've had too much, they are relentless. And these people here on this square have been relentless. They've never given up. They said we're willing to die from the beginning, and I thought nonsense, nonsense. When the first 10 or 15 are cut down, you will have a different story. But they haven't given up, and they kept coming. Now, some of them are uncontrollable. Some of these factions, the right-wing factions, I don't know that they'll be happy with anything. We'll see. But now, in Ukraine, there's joy, and there's no fighting. And the explosions are of fireworks, of victory, and a celebration. In Kiev, this is Michael Hamschlag reporting.